Hello and welcome to yet another philosophical improvisation. Today we will speak about nature. A philosopher immediately remembers Spinoza's sentence, God is nature, nature is God. And certainly the immensity and also luxury of details of the natural environment has inspired humanity to simply admire and indulge in awe and gratitude in front of what is often perceived today as a realm of calm and serenity. This is, of course, a modern construction of nature, one that goes along with domestication. Most of us no longer fear sleeping outside, being somewhat devoured by insects or attacked by dangerous animals. Nature, therefore, has gained an aura of kindness that has conversely somewhat disappeared from the human realm as this world becomes an anthropocene as it is often said a world tailored and domesticated and shaped by human obsessions it seems that all the fury that once might have belonged to nature has a dangerous place to be for our fragile animality. All that chaos and fury seems to have been transposed into human affairs. The proportion between humanity and nature, simply the density of how many human beings there are compared to the number of trees, for example, in a given area. That is, of course, related to our mental health, simply. Rousseau, in the 18th century, already felt that. He considered cities to be diseases. And aren't they not? Aren't cities viruses created by our different and conflicting desires, envies, and panics. The most significant feature of nature is that it seems silent. And yet, if you know how to contemplate it, it speaks. The question is, is your heart speaking through nature? In other words, is the murmur of nature is the whispering of nature created by your own inner voice when it surrenders to the creative flow of being and becoming. Clearly, there is a sense that nature is both an experience and a value. Hence our word natural as opposed to artificial. The artifacts of nature are immense and in a sense it might be said that our technology is but a vast improvisation and deviation and inspiration on the genius of nature's structures. In fact nature might be the constant synthesis between what is considered artificial and what is considered natural as inherited. And that synthesis, that dialectic, that movement could be called creolectics because it is a creative process of 
not only organization but organicity things that were artificial in the past are now considered natural one example is probably language and on that word that's it for today this was yet another philosophical improvisation see you tomorrow